Everyone lined up behind the 19 of Carl Edwards. Once again, winning the poll here at Loudon, New Hampshire. On the outside, the most recent winner, Martin Shrex Jr. Race number two, the chase is underway. Already, see Jamie McMurray drop underneath the 11 car. Denny Hamlin making it three wide. He's going to make it three wide, but it's all about the corner exit off turn two. Did you see how low that 31 of Ryan Newman exited the corner? You have to get your car straight and really apply the power as hard as you can. Great start for Carl Edwards, a driver who has had success in qualifying, but has never been able to find victory lane. He's out front, Martin Shrek's Jr. behind him. Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Larson, Ryan Newman, the chaser in the top five. In fact, the chaser in the top ten right now. And Denny Hamilton started fifth, but that restart wasn't good to him. He's lost two or three spots already. Out in front now, it's Martin Truex Jr. He was able to get by Carl Edwards and take over the top spot on lap 30. Take a look at how it happened. He's able to maintain with him through the center of the corner, but just out accelerating him on corner exit. And once you get that spot, spot yours, Carl Edwards gives it up. Late in the race, you won't give it up that easy, but right now, Carl Edwards understands that it. it's in his best interest to be smart with only lap 35. Martin Shrek Jr. led 123 laps here in July, but the broken shifter from second place on lap 265 dropped him all the way back to 16th. Drivers got to be willing to look around, got to be willing to try different things. And as you see your competitors, you know, they're trying, they're doing something, they're fast, and you try to do what they're doing as well. But really it's just a, it's a matter of lap times. It's a matter of the you looking out of the windshield, trying to come up with a plan, the team giving you lap time so that you know if it's better or not. Now we got a caution. Debris going into turn number one has brought out the first caution. And 123 laps complete. They were on lap 124 when this first caution came out. And long enough, Brad Keselowski it looked as though he was still on the lead lap. But Almendinger may have been in front of Logano, so that could have saved the two of Brad Keselowski, but also could have hurt Joey Logano as far as getting the free pass. We'll take a listen to what's going to take place with NASCAR as far as who gets the free pass. It is going to be the 47 of A.J. Allmendinger will receive the free pass, so that means Joey Logano will still be a lap down, as is Austin Dillon and Chris Buescher, the other two chase drivers that have been lapped already by Martin Truex Jr. Front row has Martin Truex Jr. choosing the outside line, and on the inside will be Matt Kenseth, race leader. Gets to choose either inside or outside, and Martin Truex Jr. has chosen the outside. Green flag back in the air. Great restart for the 78 of Martin Truex Jr., as well as Jimmy Johnson in the 48 on that outside line, making it work initially through one and two. to watch a couple battles on the racetrack just not this battle but deeper in the field as well we have Ryan Blaney currently sitting in the free pass position and Joey Logano a couple spots behind her remember Joey Logano was lapped early by Martin Truex Jr. he needs to fight for that free pass position to try to get back on the lead lap the entire field is watching I promise you the entire field is paying attention if the 78 can continue to run well as well as the 18 with two tires then the next caution, if we don't go too long, you'll see a lot of two-tire stops. But Rick, there's no pressure on the 78. They won <laughs> last right. week. Cole Pern, he's sitting up there, feet up. Relax, we got to win. Let's put two tires on it and see if it works. And so far, the gamble has paid off for the 78, but now the 20. Well, Matt Kenseth once again peeking to the inside of the 78. One thing that the 78 does, he stays out a long time against the wall before he turns down. He's not going to be able to do that right now. When Matt Kenseth in this spot, he's got the spot. Kenseth takes the lead away from Truex Jr. 
Caution has come out as the 46 of Michael Annette got into the wall in turn two. And that brought the caution out for the third time today as we see entering turn two there, the 46 up against the wall. They're about to go wicked fast as they enter the restart zone. Green flag back in the air. And he got the restart he wanted. Now he can go any lane he wants to. And look at him. They spread out behind him. That's exactly what they did, Jeff. As soon as they got out past the start finish line, they were two and three wide. Things tightening up. Two, three wide behind race leader Matt Kenseth. They fan out to four wide as they get ready to come into turn four. Screws me three. They got to get through three first. And that is in question. Look at those cars, the big mess. They have cars on the apron, cars in the middle of the racetrack. Great fight for position. It's give and take, and right now, people have been pretty good at giving. Kids of Truex separated by about a tenth of a second. Now less. Here comes Martin Trex Jr. Looks to the inside of Matt Kenseth. But you know there's no more conceding. Matt Kenseth drove it in super deep on the outside to try to hold off the position. But the 78's not going away. He's still on his bumper. Matt Kenseth just has to focus on his car. Not worry about Martin Truex. Hit your marks. Put the car exactly where you want it to be. Be fast where you can be. Make sure he does not get underneath you on corner exit. Kenseth the Truex still battling for the lead impressively as these two have been battling for the lead they've also been running away from the field Kevin Harvick is two and a half seconds back well but remember Kevin Harvick is two and a half seconds back before they started battling that was Chase Elliott well Kevin Harvick has gotten by Chase Elliott in the last couple laps has gained about a tenth or tenth and a half on the leaders Marty as we watch the battle for the lead, you see the left side of your screen concern for Kurt Busch, who is on the bottom caution right now, Rick. Well, we it showed was you the that 95. That's right. We showed you that 95 with all the damage. It finally did rub the left rear tire, and the caution is on the racetrack. Here's coming underneath you. That was Kenseth and Mark Trucks Jr. that went just underneath the 95 as the 95 is going to try to make its way to pit road. Take a look at the initial contact here between Clint Boyer and Michael McDowell. Yeah, you see the 15 and the 95 get together, and there's pretty heavy damage on that left rear. We've seen how easy it is for that tire to be cut down. And then right here, just the tire's flat. He's trying to do his best to get to pit road, but loops it. And the issue is here, that's right in the racing groove as he goes back up the racetrack. Kenseth on the outside, Trex Jr. on the inside. Green flag back in the air. Well, with all those penalties, we didn't have a whole lot of time to tell you who did what. Well, Kurt Busch, Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch back there, 8th, ninth, 10th. They pitted and put on fresh tires. They're going to try to work their way back up through traffic and run these two leaders down as the 20 and the 78 battle. Oh, that was close. The 78 got really loose underneath. The 20 did a great job of slowing down and not getting to the side of the 20. Truex is on a, he is full aggression mode, though, right now. Matt Kenseth just in front of Martin Trex Jr. Here he goes again. Martin Trex Jr. to the inside as they go down the backstretch. Can the 78 complete the pass? That's just how close it is as they enter turn three. Once again, the 78, a lower line through turns three and four. Now has the inside line as they go to turn one, trying to take the lead away. Matt Kenseth doing all he can to pinch him off, and it worked. Matt Kenseth kept his left sides on that white line, made Martin Truex get all four of his tires on the flat, but Martin's not done battling. Under 30 laps to go. Martin Truex Jr. trying to take the lead away again. Now up the racetrack he goes. Coming back out of turn number four. Top three running very strong. All Toyotas, Matt Kenseth. Martin Trucks Jr., Kyle Busch running well, and Toyota has done very well here on pit road. Once again, an issue. This time the 11 had an uncontrolled tire, 
It went into the 21 pit stall, and so they were penalized once again. I believe it's the 13th time they have been penalized on pit road. Well, we have a wreck in the middle of three and four. The six of Trevor Bain has backed it into the middle. Oh, hard in the outside hard wall. Hard in the outside wall. The caution comes out again. Take a fire up, bring it to him. Trevor Bain into the wall. The caution comes out. Who has the advantage now? Kyle Busch with the pressure tires. My right rear went down or something. Well, another thing that just happened right there, the three car of Austin Dillon, he's going to get the free pass. So that's going to put him back in the lead lap. Another chase guy has earned himself back in the lead lap. But who has the advantage? That's a tough one. I think the 18 was in good shape there. I think the eight, it was all rolling down where the 18 was going to have time to get by these leaders. It now will come down to a restart. And who has the best restart? And what happened side by side? You can see Trevor Bain coming to our screen. He's already turned around backwards. You heard him say he felt like he had a tire go down. Something happened to the race car. So I don't think any contact with another driver based on what he said. Kenseth once again has chosen the outside line. Great restart by Matt Kenseth. And look at Kyle Busch jumping out of line. He has to get by Truex quickly, and he does. How about Kevin Harvick on the outside also taking advantage of that outside line, and he moves up to second. The 18 went through half of that corner on the apron. wasn't even on the racetrack. Difficult restart for the 78 of Martin Truex Jr. And he has dropped back all the way to fighting for fourth now with Brad Keselowski. And Keselowski takes fourth away from him. Well, that's the struggle now. Now he's on the oldest tires and back in traffic. It's going to be very hard to defend. I think right now it's all about Kyle Busch. Does he have enough time to get by Harvick and Kenseth? This heat cycle, cooling these older tires, I think has helped Matt Kenseth. Kenseth has a pretty good gap between he and Kevin Harvick as they go down into turn three. And around goes Ricky Stenhouse Jr. coming out of two. 17 was around as well as the 55. And so Reed Sorensen. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. bring out the caution. Under 10 laps to go. Race leader Matt Kenseth has chosen the outside line once again. Kevin Harvick will be on the inside as they come into the restart zone. Great restart for both the 20 and the 4. And here comes the 18, look at the inside. Down the back stretch they go, Kevin Harvick. Now the advantage, Matt Kenseth on the outside. Kenseth up the racetrack, Harvick takes the lead. And Kenseth's got to try to fight back. You saw Matt try to cross over, try to get back underneath the four car, couldn't make it happen. Kevin Harvick, after being trapped down a lap almost the entire race at Chicagoland, is now fighting back, looking for his first win of the round of 16 in 2016. The gap, six car lengths. Kevin Harvick has done it perfectly today. The final restart. He gets the advantage on right Matt Kenson. Kevin Harvick on his way to the round of 12 as he comes out of turn number four. Harvick will win at the Magic Mile. <laughs> yeah! Pretty good, guys. Awesome job. Time for Kevin Harvick to get out and celebrate. Last week, he finished 20th today. He defeats the 20 in the late going to take his four car to victory lane. What a day. And you were so excited about having the outside line in earlier restarts. There at the end, you had the inside. How'd you get by him? Yeah, just, um, you know, before we get started, I just want to thank everybody from Die Tech Outback, Jimmy John's, uh, Bush Beer, Hum Brothers. Um, Mobile One, Morton Buildings, everybody who uh, is at the shop uh, working on all these uh, Stuart Haas racing cars. Uh, Bad Boy Buggy sponsor the race today. It's fun to have them here at Chevrolet. And just, man, that, that worked out really good. My car was 
pretty good in, on the restarts, and once we got clean air there at the end, uh, wound up being being really good out front. So just really proud of our team. They did a great job. On we go.